Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in this video lesson I shall tell you all about verbs. Well, we all know what verbs are. Verbs can show the state of being and it can also show actions. In this video lesson we are going to talk about verbs that show actions. We all do a lot of actions in a day. Some of the most common actions are eat, drink, sing, dance, talk, walk, well watch and many other things. So all these verbs are action words but these verbs cannot be used to talk about the different times. According to time, we use different forms of verbs. For instance, when you want to talk about the present, we use the present form of the verb. When we want to talk about the past, we use the past form of the verb. And when you want to talk about the future, you use the future form of the verb. So unless you understand these forms, you will not be able to make correct sentences with the right verbs. Remember, verbs form a very important part of the language and there is no sentence in English without a verb. So we must know what these forms of verbs are. We must know all the four forms of verbs and how they can be used in different ways. Now let's look at the different forms of verbs. The base form or the present form. The next one is past form. The next one is past participle form. And the last one is the present participle form. And these verb forms change according to time. These are called tenses of verbs. So, you use different kinds of verbs according to the time, according to the time of the action. They are called tenses. And it's interesting to know that the word tense comes from a Latin word tempus, which means time. So the word tense comes from a Latin word tempus, which means time. So according to the time, we use the different forms of the verbs and they are called tenses of verbs and when you use the right structure for the right tense your language becomes beautiful and it becomes grammatically very correct so you must be sure of your tenses before you actually start speaking now let's look at the different tenses of verbs there are basically three tenses in English grammar. They are present, past and future. The present tenses are all divided into four types. The past is divided into four types and the future is also divided into four types. Now let's look at what these types are. The present tense includes the present simple present tense or you can also call it as the present simple, then the present continuous tense, then the present perfect tense and the present perfect continuous. Similarly, the past tense is divided into simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. The future tense is also divided into simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous and all these tenses have a particular structure they have a form in English grammar and when you use the right structure for the right action at the right time for a particular time about which you are talking your language becomes correct the verb is correct and the whole sentence sounds very good and interesting too. It sounds correct. 
So anybody who looks at what you're speaking would notice your verbs first, the tenses first. So it's very important for you to be very clear about these tenses. Now let's look at what the different forms of the verbs are. Let's look at some examples. If you look at the base form, we have, for example, eat. Now the base form can have two forms again, eat, eats. In some situations, we use eat. In some situations, we use eats. So it's all about grammar, which you will be learning from the next class onwards. When you should use the base form, when you should add yes to the verb, eat, eats. And what is the past form? It's it, it. And what's the past participle form? It's eaten. And what is the present participle form? It's eating. Eating is nothing but the ing form of the verb eat. So you must know these four forms for every action that you do, for every action word. So when you know these four forms, you, it will be easy for you to choose the word you want when you are talking about the present, past or future. Let's look at some more examples. Speak. The present forms are speak and speaks. The past form is spoke. What is the past participle form? It's spoken. And the next one is speaking. And the next, go, goes. These are the present forms. Then the next one is went. And then comes gone. And then it is going. The next one is do or does. The next one is did. And the past participle form is done. And the last one is doing. The next verb is write, writes. Wrote, written, writing. Sing, sings. Sang, sung, singing. Then we have dance, dances, danced, danced, dancing. Then you have watch, watches, watched, watched, watching. And then you have perhaps wake, wakes, woke, woken and waking. Woke or wake means to get up from bed. So these are examples of how these four forms are formed and you should also know that verbs can be regular or irregular. For instance, if you look at the word watch, the present tense is watch, the past tense is formed by adding D or AD, it is watched. Pass, passed, look, looked. So in all these words, you see that you just add D or ED and it becomes the past tense. These are called as regular verbs. And there are some action words or verbs that have totally different forms. For example, eat. The past tense is ate. And the past participle form is eaten. So eat, ate, eaten are three different forms. Write, wrote, written are three different forms. Then you have other words like draw, drew, drawn. So all these words have three different forms. The present, the past and the past participle. So these type of verbs which have three different forms are called irregular verbs. And there are some other forms, some other verbs which have the same form. For example, cut, cut, cut. Cut is the present form. Cut is the past form and cut is the past participle form as well. Put, put, put. Did you see this? So verbs and their forms have to be learnt first before you are able to use tenses well. And the next thing you should be able to do is know exactly which verb form is to be used for which tense. Once you are sure of this, you just have to put the subject and you have to add the right verb in the right form and speak. So verbs and tenses will enable you to gain confidence over the language, gain more fluency in the language 
and it will also help you to speak grammatically correct English, which is the first thing people notice about your English. So I'm sure you liked this short video, an introduction to tenses. We are going to come back with very, very interesting videos on tenses of verbs. We will do one tense at a time. We'll do all the forms, the affirmative form, the negative form and the interrogative form. And I'm sure you'll find it very, very interesting and very useful too. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos so that you can keep watching these videos and learning more and more. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.